A loud whistle can be really useful. It can help you find people if you're lost or stranded. Did you just hear that? Or you can get someone's attention from far away. But what if you don't have a whistle? Right now I can whistle two ways. The regular way, and... So this week I wanted to learn two different methods of whistling really loud and compare them to some other sounds. But first remember to wash your hands. We still are in the middle of a world events. The first method uses the thumb and index fingers on one hand to form the shape of a ring. Using your fingers, you should fold the first quarter of your tongue back, wrap your lips around your fingers, and blow through the gap in the center of your mouth. For the first 20 minutes, the only results I was getting were a sore mouth, a bunch of slobber on my fingers, and a lightheaded feeling. After a bit more struggling, I finally got a sound. But then I lost it right away. So I grabbed a mirror and stared at some handsome man until he got the lip structure down. And 40 minutes in, this happened. <laughs> yes. Instead of pushing back my tongue as recommended, I found it much easier to just lay my fingers on top of my tongue and blow. And after a bit of practice, I had the technique down. That is awesome! Unlike the first, the second method uses two adjacent fingers on both hands. The theory is pretty much the same, so I just got right to practicing. And since I already had the first method down, the second method only took a few minutes before I started to get a sound. There you go. After a bit of experimenting, I found that folding the tongue back was much better for the second method. Okay, I'm back at the field and now I'm going to compare all the different whistles with a decibel meter. Alright, first up I'm going to do my regular whistle. Seventy-six point six. Okay, next. The actual whistle. Ninety point seven. Okay, now the one-handed whistle. Ninety-five. I got a notification saying your sound is too thick. I have no idea how decibels are measured, but that was pretty damn loud. Okay, and last, the two-handed whistle. Ninety-two point six. And just for fun, I wanted to see how loud my whistle was compared to a car horn. Ninety-three point three. It's pretty cool to know that you can whistle louder with your fingers than an actual whistle. I wasted five bucks on this thing. Thanks for watching and thank you so much for all the support on my first video. It really means a lot. I was not expecting that at all. Subscribe!